Welcome back, esteemed viewers. The U.S. Supreme Court just momentarily responded to an exceptional request made by Jack Smith, the special counsel investigating Donald Trump's criminal activity. Paula Reed, top legal affairs reporter for CNN, is with us here in the circumstance. The actions taken by the Supreme Court and the significance of Smith's request. Indeed, the special counsel made a bold move today in an attempt to get the election subversion case to trial before the election in November 2024. The Supreme Court is being asked to rule on two issues by the special counsel. First, given that Trump was impeached but not found guilty on comparable accusation, is he immune from prosecution or is he shielded from prosecution due to possible double jeopardy? Although the special counsel believes that neither of them applies, they want the Supreme Court to rule on this matter so that Trump's litigation of these very valid matters does not postpone the trial which is scheduled to begin in March of next year. However, that legal action requires time. Questions like this might take months, if not more than a year, to go through the appeal process and perhaps reach the Supreme Court. According to special counsel, it is therefore in the public interest for the Supreme Court to address these issues and provide a prompt response. They are depending on previous decisions made by the court in the Nixon-Watergate investigations, when specific concerns were resolved promptly. As a result, we know that we will soon learn whether the court will take up this matter. Once more, they don't claim they will address it, but they do indicate they will promptly let us know if they will respond to our queries. About this matter from Trump's attorneys, we have a long statement that basically restates their talking points, accusing the special counsel of being personally attacked and claiming that this indictment is an attempt to influence the election. Look, even if he is under a gag order, all of that is permitted. He has the right to criticize Jack Smith, President Biden's special counsel. Thus, it seems like we are hearing more of the same. The special counsel contends that voters must know the outcome of this trial before casting their ballot, despite their claims that this is a ploy to sabotage his followers and tamper with the election. Jack Smith made a really astute move by anticipating the usage of the delay text in this situation. Recall that it can take a very long time for the appellate court and the Supreme Court to evaluate this, as Paul pointed out. We're fewer than 100 days away from a presidential election, and it may extend into the next Supreme Court term. I believe 332. If my calculations are correct, this answer might be crucial as it eliminates Donald Trump's argument in court. They do, however, take it extremely seriously. This morning is when the request was received. Yes, they would at least move it forward more quickly, the justices had stated. The Trump attorneys have until December 20 to reply. That differs by just two days from what Jack Smith had requested. He had requested the 18th of December. Therefore, they are genuinely adhering to Jack Smith's proposed strategy thus far. Just consider this Supreme Court for a moment. This Supreme Court was able to steer clear of a great deal of the controversy in 2020. It refuted irrational assertions on the election results made by supporters of Donald Trump and remained impartial. Whether it has to do with Donald Trump's policy or his personal tax returns, every issue it has ever handled has been delicate. They're probably not looking forward to this, but they are aware that there has never been a decision made in this particular case. And that was the whole premise of Jack Smith's petition just as Donald Trump is claiming that at some time the Supreme Court will have to determine whether a former president or president may be shielded from criminal prosecution for activities made while in office. To be honest, I believe Jack Smith has made a very compelling argument for several reasons that we've discussed in passing here. Once more, time is crucial in this situation, so let me say that. This process would rank first on the list of cases that would be appealed to a court of appeals if it followed the standard procedure for the case. Subsequently, the defeated party would possess the authority to file an appeal with the whole court of appeals, and ultimately, they might appeal to the Supreme Court. That may have required many months of appeals, or quite honestly, years. Jackson made a really astute decision in trying to obtain this. It is reasonable to assume, in my opinion, that a litigant would not try to get a matter before the Supreme Court unless they were quite confident in the quality of their case and argument. And let's briefly examine the two points they are making. First, was the question of whether the president's acts in question fell within the purview of his official responsibilities. It is argued that he is a presidential contender and not the president of the United States. He was still president, but this was only to support his campaign. Therefore, you could probably answer it on this double-double jeopardy question very fast. It's also not a very strong case because the goal of impeachment is to safeguard the president's integrity. The goal of a prosecution is to imprison the accused. These two items are quite dissimilar. Furthermore, while the president and previous president have the right to provide any reasons they like, they aren't particularly compelling. And I believe that all of this illustrates how strong Jack Smith is in the special prosecutor's hands in this case. 
The latest exceptional request made by Special Counsel Jack Smith to the U.S. Supreme Court regarding the criminal prosecution of the former President Donald Trump is the main topic of discussion. Smith wants to know if Trump's previous impeachment procedures shield him from prosecution or from double jeopardy. Ensuring a settlement before to the 2024 election is crucial, since it highlights the public's entitlement to clarification prior to casting their ballots. The importance of the case is demonstrated by the Supreme Court's readiness to review these crucial issues quickly. Trump's defense against this indictment is seen as having less solid legal justification than having the ability to seriously postpone the administration of justice. Smith's decision to file for an expedient settlement through the highest court is viewed as a calculated and self-assured move meant to avert protracted proceedings and guarantee responsibility. Overall, this section emphasizes the importance of the legal issues at hand, the court's readiness to quickly resolve them, and the special counsel's calculated efforts to obtain clarification on important issues before to the approaching election. Thank you for following me through to the end. Please like, comment, subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.